You cannot believe how difficult this was trying to figure out who was supposed to get up here and get down and who was supposed to do what sound. And like Stan's supposed to go back and do the sound now because he's an expert on this work as, as of this moment. <laughs> right, Russ? Yes. Okay. Uh, you may be wondering what these things are at the end of our guitar. <laughs> Basically, when Roger Flynn and Larry and I sang together 30 years ago, whenever the hell it was, Larry had this big box that was about this big, cost something like three hundred and fifty dollars, and we could tune our guitars and banjos to it, so that we were all in the same pitch and supposedly in tune. Well, these things, as I said, that cost about three hundred, four hundred bucks at the time. These things cost about nineteen dollars, and they do the same thing except they do a little better, because all you got to do is put it at the end of the guitar, push this button, and then it tells you like the boing. The thing that's incredible about it is that's what technology is, and I found out just the other day that they're replacing me at my job with one of these two. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, <laughs> this is the most requested Kingston Trio song of all time, at least that's what they claim, and you can see, see it on YouTube, that's what uh, John Stewart introduces Bob Shane with this uh, song, it's called Scotch and Soda. <laughs> Can they do Calypso songs? <laughs> <laughs> sure we can.